B6. The St. Johnsbury Moose Lodge was the last of its kind in Vermont to reopen after the pandemic, hosting a bingo fundraiser on Saturday. Even before the pandemic, however, the lodge struggled in the community with membership and volunteers. Thomas R. Bishop Sr. has been part of the Moose Lodge for 40 years. He's a former president and ambassador for the Moose Legion, currently holding the highest degree of the order. Well, a friend, a friend asked me to join, and so I, I joined, and uh, I missed the first meeting, and he stopped at my house and wanted to know why I didn't show up, but I was running the gas station at the time, so and my wife told me, she says, you want to join? Now get involved. And a few years back, my wife told me, she said, I wish you hadn't. <laughs> Friends, food, and a sense of community is what often drives members to the Moose Lodge. A lot of people join because it was a place to go for it. an inexpensive drink and inexpensive food and good entertainment with good people. But then when I, you know, I finally learned the history of the Moose and what their missions were, you know, I got, I just really got hooked because it, it's a remarkable remarkable organization. Norm Shaw has been part of the lodge for 28 years. He's drawn to the projects the association heads across the country, offering a senior home in Moose Haven, Florida, and giving children quality education in Moose Heart, Illinois. Shaw's dedication to the lodge was noticed by his fellow moose, and an award was named after him. And it's awarded every year to a person or persons for the work they've done for their lodge and their community. And I was, I was floored. I really was, I never expected it. And, uh, and I'm, still, uh, I'm still in awe. With the relaunch of the St. Johnsbury Lodge, Northeast Moose Association President Dan Companion is excited to see what the space can be used for. Beautiful hall, social quarters, amazing backyard here. This facility is one of the best in the Northeast, believe it or not because of the capacity that you guys have. Even in Burlington, we have a small 5,000 square foot lodge in Chittenden County. We die to have this type of space. Spread the word. We're gonna be doing events and we're gonna be doing everything we can, but this is a community center. And know that it's your community that makes the fraternal organizations work. No doubt about it. They've struggled, but they are great places as you can see. As part of the relaunch, the Lodge will be holding a One Moose celebration on May 2nd. The fraternity is traditionally run by men, and the One Moose initiative will merge the male and female chapters of the Lodge, allowing women to help run the fraternity. That's a good one. Alexander Huff, News 7, St. Johnsbury.